It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, my dad. Say, man, look, man. Uh, yeah, man, we here. We back. You know what I'm saying? We in the building, man. Boss Talk 101, man. Um, we, hey, man, we, we've we been dealing with some of the, a lot of the entertainers, man. And this guy right here, hey, he, he pretty much stood out to me, man, for... Especially in the South, man. You know what I'm saying. I seen all them other boys, but I, it was something different about this one. Cause he here, he hometown too, man. Hey, and he had to come on Boss Talk 101, man. We got Bubba Dub in the building. What's going on, brother? What's good? What's good, man? Uh, just uh, hell, just chilling, man. Uh, what what's going on with you, man? Uh, I be seeing you, man. You get real live on that on that internet, man. Hey, man, I'm just working. Just working. Just working. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so um man, just um so um you know, you from you from East Texas. East Texas, yeah. What uh Nacogdoches? Alto. Uh, Alto. Alto. Okay. Alto. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> By another year you won't be saying it like that though. Oh, oh you gonna shut everything down. Most definitely. Already, oh, man. What is it by though? Oh, uh, it's by Nack. It's like yeah. twenty minutes from Nack, yeah, twenty five awesome. minutes from Lufkin. Oh, okay, Lufkin. I know where Lufkin is. You I know where Nack because I took you through there. But we've never been through Alto. You had to get through that. We we're going to Houston. Did we pass through it? Y'all go down sixty nine? Went down fifty nine. Fifty nine. No, y'all missed it. Y'all went through Nack, y'all hit Lufkin, and y'all went on. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. But we were close. We were close. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had stayed. What was we at? Longview and just took off to go. Uh, yeah. No, we were in Marshall and then we went. Yeah, 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 Marshall. yeah, man, man. We, hey, man, we East Texas hard here. Well, I am. She Jamaican, so okay. you know what I'm saying. I snatched her up, and, and next thing you know, it's a wrap. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Most now definitely. she a East Texas woman. Don't even realize. I love the country life. <laughs> I love it. So, so, <clears throat> so when you were young, man, was it was 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 comedy a thing for you? Yeah, I've been a comedian pretty much my whole life. I always made people laugh. Just before I started doing this, people always say I should have been a comedian because I tell your mouth out when I do my thing. <laughs> Where but it's but always be the truth, though. My coming out with be the truth. It just, I just make it funny. Where do you get it from? Your mom, your dad? My you must mom. Have, your mom, she's... She a beast. She is? Yeah, she a beast. <laughs> so, so, do you do, so, so let's talk about it, man. So coming up, uh, being young, where, where did you go to high school at? Alto. Alto, okay. they got down what three yeah. A two A? Nah, we down to one A now. One A. It used to be two A. Used to be two A. Yeah. yeah, yeah, man. So, East Texas, man. You, you, you really, you, like I say, you're shining light down there. I don't even know of nobody else really just doing what you're doing. Nah, I ain't. you know what I mean? Because I, like, like I said, we we just was in Atlanta and uh, well a month or so ago mm -hmm. and interviewed uh, uh, Jordan Jackson that be with uh, Country Wayne. He on they camp and. Uh, Chi Nas Myron and Jesse yeah. McDonald. We done interviewed all those yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesse, so, my boy. Yeah, yeah. Jesse was on here. He actually was on here. He was the first one. He introduced us to He's so many different people. Ma matter of fact, we supposed to go to Arkansas this weekend. They're doing their first show down yeah, there. Chi Myron, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's their first one. So we thinking we are gonna end up driving to support. Yeah. Yeah. They're my guys, yeah, most you know. Definitely, most definitely. Yeah, yeah. So. But have you always okay as a child? As much as you were funny, did you want to become a comedian? Yeah, I did. You did. But then you know you you get, you get older. And I wasn't on social media. I was selling dope. So oh, okay. you you was a dope dealer for sure. Was you good at it? I was straight. Did you get caught? <laughs> I didn't get caught with no dope. I okay. got snitched on. Oh, and that okay. okay okay somebody told it on oh, you. Yeah, Niggas be talking. Shit, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't take but that one time for me to stop though. I was out of there. Did it scare you? No, nah, it, it, it ain't the point that it scared me. It just wasn't me. Okay. okay. Did you have siblings? Yeah, I got brothers and sisters, but I'm the baby. You're the I baby. Five. I'm baby. I'm the baby. I got five. Okay, you seem like you're real close to your mom. Real close. So when you got in trouble, or your mom found out what you was doing. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. It, that it's that. Sad. You know, mom's gonna always have that talk with you, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm grown. I make my own decisions. It ain't how she raised me. Yeah. I was just being greedy, trying to mm -hmm. get the best of both worlds. Yeah. And God, was like, nah, you you only gonna serve one master. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, See, so. that's good that you realize that. Yeah. So you know. did you? Oh, it's good. I mean, when I when I went to jail, I came home. I I wholesaled everything. I had scales, <laughs> everything, <laughs> baggies, everything. <else. laughs> you got rid of it. Everything was out the door. So nobody was I, happy. I know, I know who got me though. That was the whole point. I do. I knew exactly how it went down and who got me. Wow. Mm. So. But you know what? Everything happens for a reason. If that didn't happen, <clears throat> you wouldn't be where you are today. No, nah, I wouldn't. That that definitely uh, uh, make it wake you up for sure. How long did you stay in the county, man? Man, I wasn't in a day. <laughs> <laughs> How did you? But they give you the orange jumpsuit. Yeah, man. It was cold. Nah, I got a, I got a phobia of being in, in a, a small up, places, right. and they let me go in there just to change. And the door lock, man. I had hell. I'm like, man, I was like, man, come on now, man. I ain't no murderer now, man. <laughs> Man, I seen niggas in there, man. It was one kid that was in there. They put a helmet on his head because he was trying to kill himself. Man. He couldn't like. He didn't like being locked up, so they had some, a, a little chain thing on the floor mm. where you lock a person to a chain. They locked that boy to the chain. I was the trustee. And uh, yeah, they had a helmet on that boy, and they had his feet tied up. Yeah. And that boy was sitting there with that helmet on. I slid him his plate. You know what I'm talking about? I, <laughs> I knew it. When my mm-hmm. my I had a couple homeboys in there. They were like, "My nigga Dub in here, man. Let's go and get some push up, huh?" <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll be out as soon as I get buns. You know, you go in on dope, y'all. You don't get no buns. No, so no. I gotta see. I gotta see the judge, man. Yeah. Man, I had to wait a whole day. Just you to was get like, it, how long did it last that day? Man, the whole day, I was like a whole day, man. I, I finally got the call, call my girl and stuff, man. I, I was trying to talk to her in code. Like, look, man, everything I got, whatever else, flush that, man. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? I was like, come give me. So was that what brought on the part about the character of snitching? Nah, it ain't had nothing to do so with that. So you had already that. been doing that character? But that nah, nah, it ain't had, none, of this, none of my situation got nothing to do with my comedy. Okay. So, really? None of, so what made you come up with that character? Just me, I, I'm a big Richard Pryor fan. Okay. okay. Eddie Murphy fan, like different characters. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm a big, uh, I love the movie uh, Men's to Society. Okay. And that character, Chauncey. Man, he that's my there, boy. There, all right. When, there. He, when he was in there with the with, with the uh, yellow tape, yeah, he, he was getting ready to send it out to the cops. <laughs> I always love that part. <laughs> Yeah, fuck Kane. <laughs> See, I can't even follow on this motherfucking <laughs> tape <you. laughs> because I know both sides. Of it. I know how to get money and shine, and then yeah. I know the the, the side, you know, the side effects to it, going to jail, losing everything, spending all your money on lawyers. So I know how it go. I know how it feel to get snitched on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Like. The person who got me, I took care of him. That was your boy. Show love. He like, used to ride in the front seat. Yeah, like you could have got anybody <laughs> else, dog. Why me? But but, but did he? But was it a crunch thing? Or sometimes they jam a nigga and they nah, got it. Nah, was, it was an essay. It was an essay. You remember on uh, uh, Frank Lucas when they yeah. got it? We got they got his he cousin. He had to get me. It was more a bigger fish. I wasn't no big fish. <laughs> he just did, just done you. Yeah, got me. But wow. I could have beat the case. Uh, I always say I could have beat the case because everybody know drug free zone is four years, not four years automatically to ninety nine years, and um, they kept coming back, back in there like we're gonna give you ten year probation. Like no, nah, I ain't never been in trouble damn my life. All right, we're gonna give you eight. That was when you went to court. Yeah, like I ain't taking eight year probation. We're gonna give you six. I ain't taking six. They came back with four. I said, judge, I can drop it. Y'all can drop this case as, as well, walk. You see what you mean? Drug free zone automatically four years ninety nine. Y'all trying to give me four years to sign for this shit. You know this case is weak. I'm not signing it. And my lawyer say if you don't sign, you gonna go back to jail. And I had just got the job in Lufkin, uh, Lufkin Industries, making twenty dollars an hour. Cause I had been struggling trying to get a job. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. I got yeah. a job like I called home to my girl like, man, I'm gonna go ahead and take this little two year. I mean, this four years deferred. It won't be a felony. It won't be on my record. So I just went ahead and took it. And you lived it out? Yeah, yeah I was off in two two, two years. Good wow. behavior because I didn't I didn't do drugs I didn't smoke yeah so you, I knew it was gonna be easy at the yeah. time but uh, if I knew one I knew one now I could just went back to jail yeah yeah and when I had to went through that head yeah because that case was weak because they had him I was serving him but all they had all they had with him was just dropping off money that was they, so if you they, had went they back. never had the dope that I gave him another that and he was illegal. Secret indictment. I could have beat that case. They got so you if you indictment. had went back, you'd have to retry the case again? Yep. Well, I would lost my job, though. Yeah. I wouldn't have had no more income coming in because I had gave the streets up. But that courtroom don't look like it's for you anyway, do it? It ain't. I when seen you somebody, went in there, you was like, damn. Man, I seen somebody get foul in them. Man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I had a judge tell me, you know, last guy got it, was in here last week, got 60 years. I said, damn. That's a scare tactic. Oh, yeah, but it was real. It was scary. You know what <laughs> but, but, the, but the police so slick, like, they knew I wasn't no big guy, but they knew 
my cousin was at the time. And okay. They were hoping that you'd give him up. Yeah, they was like, how big is your cousin? And they said, it's nine. I'm like, he's like 6'2", 250. <laughs> They're like, no, nah, damn, what I'm talking about. That's how big he is. He's about 6'2", 250. <laughs> I know exactly what they was talking about. He was like, look, man, stop bullshitting me. Really? Let me know something. I'll let you go. I said, man, y'all ain't got nothing on me, man. I'm out of here, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kept that. my car for about a month, though. I wasn't tripping. They kept it? Yeah, they kept my car. They trying to act like they had something yeah, on you. They had nothing. They gave it back. Wow, that's that's crazy, man. So when you first when you was coming up, your brothers, the older brother, did you used to uh, you know rank on them or or you used to put, make jokes about them? How did how did that family I, life I, go? All that all used to that. give them hell. Oh, I got a cousin. He go hard too, man. Oh yeah, but he he's he's scared to get on the camera mm. or get on stage and do it. like anybody. There's a lot of people in the world that's funny around family, but when you get on stage, excuse that's my right. language, they nuts shrivel up. Oh yeah, they mm-hmm. can't. But once so you but once you do it the first time and you get over that fear, I would think that it'd be okay after that. Well, you can get over that fear, but some people just ain't got it on stage. Yeah, mm. and you know, My, Myron was saying he he learned a lot mm-hmm. from Jesse. Jesse's the one that kind of yeah, Jesse, him. Jesse is molding him. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So so that's that's a dope you know thing to have a, somebody to help you. And I, Jesse dope too. With I, it. I I think it's dope because I don't have that. I was just about yeah, to you ask you, do you I'm have me? So you, you where you where you hit the stage at? You wh- wh- everywhere. Wh- where, where is you performing at? Like improvs. You been at improvs? Yeah, I'm everywhere. You got where was the first? Where really was the first place? Yeah. Yeah. Where was the first place you've ever performed? First place was the improv. At the improv, how was it like going up and there here in the Dallas, first time? in Arlington? Was you how nervous? How was it like? I was always always nervous. Always nervous. I'm, so the, I'm nervous for every show. Wow. Because how I don't it, write. Oh, you no, everything. Freestyle everything. I everything. Do. Wow. Everything. I could do a whole hour. Damn. Yeah. Really? You come up with new material every time. Pretty much 80, 80% new material. Does your material That's depend on your crowd? No. Because when we were I talking to them other guys, they said being more seasoned, some of them, they were like, okay, number one, it all depends on the city you're in because Correct. at what you you know give out. And then you look at your crowd because just because you've seen somebody fat in the crowd, that don't mean you're going to keep ranking on that person. I don't, I don't even rank on people. You don't? I just do my material. I haven't even added that element yet. And I wow. can do it. I just... Personally, I don't feel like a comedian should have to talk about people to get the crowd to laugh. Wow. I talk about my life experiences. That right there alone going to get you through it. Wow. I want to know, because one thing I always say about comedians, because I'm, I'm a very hard, what should I say, critic. Critic, yeah. You know, because I'm one of these people that will go, he and my daughter have the same, same and exact we gonna laugh, sense of humor. Nigga. They show oh, yeah. me stuff. We going to laugh they all show day, me nigga. Stuff yeah. All the time online, and I'm looking at it like, yeah, she be she hating. That's what we. And take. then what I laugh at, she they gets, don't. No, nah, she just like what she like. But she's from a different country, though. But my kids, they supposed to be half her too. <laughs> that boy now just like her. He he don't laugh. She got her one. I got mine. You yeah. know. <laughs> but and when you go to shows, one thing I cannot understand with some comedians, why comedians always laugh before they tell their joke a lot of times. It'd be fun, I don't you know. do it. You don't laugh. Not before no damn joke. <laughs> but why do they do that? I got a serious face. I'm different from other comedians. I'm serious. You're like on my skits how I'm on stage. For sure? Yeah, I'm serious. And, and you just know that's your that's your spot yeah. where you... And, and what... But you make everybody laugh. Uh, what gave you the audacity to come up with your own way of doing things? Man. You just gonna you know, do what you want to do. I got to. I only got one live. So you like, this me, and I'm gonna do this, and it worked for you. I, I told you I'm a big fan of Richard Pryor. That's Have what you he ever was. found anybody that you cannot make laugh? Like you, man, you can do a whole show and somebody don't laugh, don't and then laugh. after the show, nigga, you killed it, <laughs> and they don't laugh. But they, they, <laughs> yeah. they so watch you, so you, so you, you can't gotta, go by so that. You can't go by that. Wow. I used to, my first, second, two shows doing it. I'm like, man, they ain't, they ain't laughing like I want them to laugh. And the nigga pulled me to the side of the show, boy, you did your thing. And you, you like that's the Damn. same nigga was looking real straight. Me, like, you think they purposely come up there and say, you know what, some I'm just do. not, some I'm just do. not gonna laugh some just them, to throw you off. Some of them do, but I, I be so in tune with what I got going on. See, all it takes for me to get that one laugh, and wherever them laughs coming from, that's who I'm finna work. You finna work it. So I'm gonna make you get involved. Mm. You, you gonna be, you gonna feel left out. Everybody else gonna be laughing. You gonna be sitting like this. And then come and sense it hit you like, I better start laughing. Damn. <laughs> so, okay. So, I got a question. So, d- have you made any t-shirts, any merch to give out? Oh, yeah. I got 40 years shirts. You bring me some? No, I ain't bring well, shirt, no. dog? I got all kinds of merch. Man, why you ain't bring a nigga a shirt? I wasn't thinking, man. Bro, I'm, I'm going to have my Bubba Dub day on here where we going to just wear the shirt and talk to people. And I got you. That's what you. we we we, we mm-hmm. got shirts, man. I got and you. And we just going to start that session off. So, make sure you send us some shirts I back. I will. 
And it may be in Cali or, or one mm-hmm. of the other places, but we're going to wear them shirts and rock out. I got some sweatshirts, too. Mm-hmm. Got okay. Yeah, yeah, we're going to rock. Coming up, so we fall coming up, so we definitely baby. need that. <laughs> and, and, and like I said, man, the more, the, anything we can do to support. I appreciate mm-hmm. it. That's what we doing. That's why we put, we came on the block six months ago, nigga. It feel like three years, mm-hmm. don't it? That's good, though. <laughs> For mm-hmm. real. So we when's your next time. show? My next show is this Saturday coming up in South Carolina. South Carolina. Oh, South Carolina. They so go, you travel yeah. everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Where's the furthest you've been? So far, uh, really, uh, Philadelphia. Really? Philly. I got something coming up in New York. Damn. See, I'm like, I ain't even, I ain't even hit my peak yet. Don't I know. Worry, I my know. Peak. You kill yeah, A lot of people going to hit their peaks, and I ain't even tapped in yet. So I'm just working, man. But what do you think about where the comedy has gone to now with the skits, internet, everything? Because back in the days, they didn't have that avenue to really show their- it changed the game. Yeah, you got so a lot of people who do skits, and guess what they do? They gonna do on. They gonna get on stage. No stage. See, I do both. Because some of them can't get on stage. They don't have that. True, you're right. Some of them can't, but you know, it just depends on what you're getting in it for. Mm-hmm. I ain't getting in it to be good. I'm trying to be great. I got a family to take care of, so I'm trying to get money from our revenue. So does uh-huh. all your skits come from your dome too? Just, like you just get up and say, "I'm gonna make a skit today and just go yeah, do it," yeah. or do you actually write out the script and I ain't be like, out nothing. But you got to get some people who can do it with you and be like, "Hey, I'm gonna work," with, or you just do I mean, it. I'm my own man. But he'll you know, tell. He'll tell the you person tell whoever, what you're about to do. I tell my girl. Yeah, that's who that be on just the, the topic. topic. Okay. But if you just want, if you say who he did, he said Pukali Roy. He did. Yeah, he did. So Pukali did he know that, that, that that's what you were gonna do? Yeah. I can't. I don't tell them what to say. I just tell them the topic. The topic is I bumped into the guy I snitched on. That video you talking about, Puka mm-hmm. Leroy, and it just took off the way it took off. Wow! Like that video when we first put it out. Video can do nothing. I mean, not to me. I'm not not. Some people get it did like five thousand views, but that's mm-hmm. nothing to me when I get numbers. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I say about a week later, I just start seeing that video just grow. Dang, what's going on? The video wasn't that long. It was short, like a million some video. It went from five thousand to thirty thousand to a hundred thousand. You don't ever know a million. And you hit a mill. Like almost a two now. Yeah, it is. Is that your highest grossing? Um no. how much is your highest Well one? on Facebook I got one like eight mil. Okay. But on YouTube, the other one I did with the with the blood in my nose. Yeah, I saw that that's one. It's like three something, three point five. Like, uh, yeah. Who who taught you who 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 taught you how to move around on social media? Is you self taught or self self taught? Self taught. Nobody helped encourage you. Because when my when we talked to Myron, he was like some woman just hit him up and started helping him like an angel or something, and never did get a dime. Told him from what him. to do. That's crazy. Yeah. I said and nobody told me nothing. Nobody. You just started researching. I just started researching and just. Because he was just doing it and putting it out. But okay. there's ways in which how to get your your um, views up. And well, I don't know nothing about that. Maybe he paid. I hope not. No, 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 no. Not like that. It's just like. She just told me he had his stuff up wrong the way he was putting it out. It was a way yeah. to do it to where it made it. made It uh, It helps the algorithm yeah. and stuff like that. You got to well, watch this and well, do you this. You might already know well, that. He's just telling you that now. Album room just come around last year. Yeah. So he gets telling. <laughs> I'm not. Wild. He gets speaking as again now. Nobody knew about Alan Rillman a year and a half ago. Mm-hmm. Nobody yeah, knew yeah, about yeah. it. Facebook kind of changed the game with that algorithm stuff. So how how about. do you how do Bubba Dub just put out new content? It's going work harder. That's all I'm consistency. Do. Yeah. How like often, us. How often do you put out new content? All you gotta do your research, man. I might drop one every day on you. Okay, Real so there's it's, so it's, there's not a must that you're doing it every day. It just depends on. Just how what I feel. I'm crazy okay, like that. That's what I, I can was do a skit and put it out, and if it's gonna do enough views and a certain amount of number, I delete it. Yeah. Mm. So did, let me ask you this: Did you ever find that fake designer that you were talking about a year or so ago? <laughs> I already knew what it was. It was just a pre video. <laughs> I was just capping about the line. I knew what it was down at ATL, down that hill. <laughs> So you you knew about it, yeah, huh? I've been knowing about it. Man, but but it's a real at thing, though. I ain't mad at it. It's a real thing, nigga. It is. It I'm is. in the store, nigga. I know what's going on. My partner nigga. stay down there. Fly. Nah, it be clean. Hey, I'll knock you out. You start looking inside of this shirt, too. <laughs> Don't even look, nigga. Just, just check me I, out. I told him one time, boy, Gucci ever see you in that, boy. You going to jail. <laughs> Man, you know that's the way it be, man. Nigga try to be clean, nigga. I ain't knocking them. Yeah, yeah, nigga pull up on you. Yeah, nigga, yeah, I done seen them, bro. I, I know names, nigga. I ain't never going to tell it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to snitch them out. But I know, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> but you got to start bro. somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it don't matter. You know, uh, the thing is, man, 
the game out here is real. Is and 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 if you can get on, a lot of people fake it till they make it. Most definitely. And then when they make it, they don't fake it no more. Nah, they don't. <laughs> I'm gonna fake it. <laughs> you gonna go and keep that I, change? I don't, I don't want you to know what I got. <laughs> so you talk about your mom a lot, but um, you, you, I haven't heard you say anything about your dad. Was your dad in your life? Yeah, my mom, my mom and dad been married forty five years. Awesome. What? Yeah. For real? Yeah. Damn. So you had a really good household, though. I ain't going to say that. I'm going to give it because they've been together. Gonna be <laughs> they, they went through hell. Yeah, People yeah. go through hell. We yeah. go through hell. That's yeah. the, niggas be lying. I heard a nigga say one time, if anybody say they happily married for 30 years, they lying like yeah, hell. Yeah, lying. You ain't been happy for no damn 30 but years. But you had your leg up, whereas like a lot of people didn't have that stability. Two parents in the home. Two parents in their home. Where... They had a father figure, not not even gonna say just a father, a father figure to help show them as a man how to be a man, what to do. You know what I mean? So you had those things. Almost definitely. Okay, yeah. so you were blessed with that is concerned. Yeah. So right. what what? So you say Richard Pryor is the one who influenced you the most? Yeah, that's Bernie Mac, Richard Pryor. Oh. Who would be your top three comedians who alive or dead? It doesn't matter. Richard. Mm-hmm. Number uh, one. Eddie. Number two, Bernie. Man, you tripping, nigga. You forgot about Martin Lawrence. Martin can't stand on the ground. Them you boys crazy, can't. man. Martin goes so hard, you man. On TV, uh, on them sitcoms. That nigga got on the hell of a stand up too, though. He got a good stand up, but no. he, but you gotta learn. He come up on the Robin Harris. Correct, mm -hmm. correct. But but that nigga, man, that nigga nice, man. With them, like just the skit thing. He would have went stupid Every, if he'd have came up in this era. Everybody nice. I don't say nobody's yeah. not nice, but I'm just telling you for me, my mm -hmm. top, your three, top go three. giggles. What do you think about Cat Williams? Love him. Do you think he's really good? Well, I think he's dope. I think he's brilliant. Better than Eddie Murphy? No. Why not? Eddie can do fifty thousand characters. That nigga Eddie bad. I already know that. Cat Williams, one character in all movies. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Eddie can go, boy. That pimp. <laughs> and he'll tell you that. <laughs> but I love Cat. Most definitely love Cat. What, so how how important is it is it to lock into that whole network? Do you feel like standing alone is the best way or unifying nah, with I other wish I, had, I wish I had that big brother to wrap their arms around me and, 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 and guide me because I'm willing to listen. Yeah. You know, but I don't have that yet, so. I'm but you gonna, can reach out to somebody because I mean, a lot of people be like I reach like, out to all of them I talk to Mike Epps and the DMs all that but you know I reach out to them guys but them guys be on what they own so right. I can't blame them I can't knock them but they see me Jamie Foxx man that's another one we didn't mention straight out of Terrell Texas mm -hmm. yeah yeah that nigga bad he's dope too and, and, and that stand up and the music that nigga is a I've never seen him stand up what? before yeah, he, he that nigga up. can go man that nigga can I go I know he's very very talented <laughs> now I'm talking about his stand up acting and singing you got to pull it up but Act, stand up I don't that know That nigga go hard Don't he He funny And you know He just chose to do it. He got so many talents He got to pick Kind of his, his Choose his battles wisely So let me ask you um, You were talking about Eddie Murphy And him doing All these different characters Would you ever Do a character As a female Never Why not Just can't do it It's a thing though You don't have to do it it's, it's a new way of life now. You're going to have to do it. It gets like everybody's You don't say, have to. Dave Chappelle people, didn't. No, no. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm going to break it down to you. Okay. People always just say, man, you ain't, mom, they want you to put on a dress. Tyler Perry put it on. They ain't tell him to put it on. Mm-hmm. And they got him to where he at, but that's his character. It ain't my character. I don't have to put on no dress or no skirt to be funny. I'm funny just the way I am. He did his whole character like that, but then you have Eddie Murphy um, he played, who, you know, he did the, you know, the, the roles yeah. and this and that. But Norbit, for, but he Eddie is on another level. You got to understand that Eddie is different. We come from a different cloth. You like no matter how everybody loves me, I just can't come out and put no dress on. Yeah, just yeah. ain't gonna, just ain't gonna well, work. It's, it's kind of what Jamie Foxx did too. All yeah, of them, one of them. Of them they come did. up in a different era though. This is a new mm -hmm. age era where I don't got to put that on. Yeah, they didn't have the IGs and the and the and Facebooks and the stuff, all these different avenues to where you can be independent and grow your brand and really be successful. Like they had to go through different avenues that that he don't have to even deal with. He can do it from I say somebody gonna blow up from their bedroom and never come out. <laughs> Am I right? Don't think about it. Yeah. If a nigga really fly enough, he can blow up from his bedroom, never come out and say, nigga, I don't do shows, y'all got to watch me on such and such and I'm bad. Yeah, because you have people who are Instagram famous, you have people who are YouTube famous and the younger generation like I'm like, who? 
And these younger generations will go crazy if they see them. You mm-hmm. see what I mean? And they're not on TV. They're not on, you know, that type of celebrity. But they're very, very famous. But whoever do it, put that dress on, they're going to get love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In this, in this, in this in day, day and age, they're going to get love. I tell you, man, my partner. Uh, give me 20 million. I might get in there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you care what it. I said. Get, 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 get up. Y'all gonna be trying to play it back. You said, you said it, you yeah, I'm gonna That's what the meal go. I'm gonna go drugs. <laughs> <laughs> so my partner, Quan, man. Shout out Quan in Vegas right now. I just called him before you came, man. He loved you. He, he the first one kept sending me your stuff. I'm yeah. like, nigga. He like, e, you gotta watch this one, man. He kept sending. I was sending him stuff and he was sending me stuff. Yeah. And it would always be you, man. I called him. I'm like, hey, man, where you at? You need to pull up. Your nigga is here. And Quan was like, man, I'm in Vegas. He goes, damn, man! I showed because of that fight. Mm-hmm. This going, yeah. they still gonna do the fight. Yeah. He like his, he, he he's covering that but fight. But not Spence though. Not Spence, but he mm-hmm. fighting somebody. But at the end of the day, man, he wanted to meet you, man, because he. Oh, it, but cool. you'll get to meet him because he. That's like my my like my nephew or something. Okay, you know? cool. he, he he family been knowing him all his life. But so what have you? What makes you stand out different from when you think about a country ring? Because when I think about skits, I think about country ring definitely the top of my head. Yeah, he's kind of um, set the bar high for what he's doing right now. Um, the difference between me and Drip, you know, Drip don't cuss in this comic. Mm-hmm. That's something that he prides himself That's right. on. That he does a lot. Me, I'm raw. I'm like uncooked ground meat. I'm raw. I ain't holding shit back. I'm gonna <laughs> say what I want to say, whether you like it or you don't. He, they gonna do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, that kind of. And it just his personality, but not me. You gonna get it. If, you gonna get if, it. If, if, if you know somebody in the room breast think we gonna talk about it. <laughs> you know. I know some of y'all kind of got happy that they come out with the vaccine, don't need the mask. Some of you motherfuckers need that mask. Permanently. <laughs> Permanently. I don't give a damn nigga dead in the castle. Put that mask on that Keep nigga. Keep that mask on that nigga. Right? <laughs> That's true. I agree but, with you 100%. You know, that, I'm just I'm just mean. I don't try to be nobody else. I'm just Bubble Dub, man. Just where the alive. name came from? Bubba. But my nickname is Bubble. But I was a bad kid. They say I should have been two people. So good, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> Who named you that? Your mom? Nah, she named me Bubble. But I just I put the dub. You put on the dub on, on it. Dub on it. Wow, that's dope, man. So how when, old were you when you started? When you started? When you did that first comedy show in Arlington at Improv? How old was I? Thirty. Uh, Thirty. All the time you've been doing comedy. That's the first. How did you get that gig? Well, you had to uh, sign up, email, and hope they draw your name. Oh, that's how they do it? Yeah. Because there's a that's lot how of com- was doing. That's how they was doing Oh, they're not doing it? Not I don't know. Okay. I haven't been to open mics like that. You know, when you first start out, you got to go to open mics and hope they call your name. Then you get to go up there. You get to do your five minutes. Mm-hmm. And then you got to have somebody recording you how I do. And you can't really judge it. And then you start blowing up on skits and people start booking you. Okay. Oh, so that's how it, So okay. you got to, shit. Hey, I'm from Alto. I'm, I live in Lufkin. There ain't no comedy place I can go every weekday to work on my crowd. So I gotta really work at home by myself and just shit. Hope I do good when I go out there. And I go out there and I, I get the reaction from like, doing good. I just keep building, keep building, keep building, keep building, and boom, explosion. Like, damn. So now I move to a bigger city where yeah. I can go and hit the open mics, work on my shit, bigger. What's the craziest thing that happened to you uh, as far as uh, when a, a person see you that... that, that it's crazy, no. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but when they see you, like, what's the craziest thing, how they approach? I was in Oklahoma this past weekend. A uh, dispensary booked me. Okay. I was at a retreat. And I jump out. Because people are going, I'm the most down-to-earth brother you ever meet. I talk to anybody. They couldn't believe it. I'm walking through. Like, no security on the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm walking through. Like, hey, boy, that's, that's him. That's him. I'm like, yeah, that's me. What was up? How you doing? Fucking God, it's him. Y'all got bubble dub. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I watch your fucking videos. It's you. It's you. <laughs> like, yeah, it's me, brother. And dude, just reach over and grab a whole pound of weed and just give it to him. Damn, just he cut for you. Yeah. Period. It'd be crazy like that. That's dope, man. Man, that makes your bad love, feel? man. But like I'm doing my job. But I can't never get too complacent. I want to continue to get better. I want to. Man, I just want to be great. You just, know, it's just the love of it, man. I want to help others, too, because I'm not really getting that from, like I was telling you, yeah. that big brother yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. But other comics who it's hit common, me, though. I know, other comics who hit me up, I don't shy away from them. I don't, like, get away from me. You know, you're not on my level. I don't never look at it like that because mm. I was there. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want them to feel that way. 
So if anybody that around me that want to do comedy, I, I got this comedian in South Carolina. He been in my inbox all the time. But what up? I want to do come. I want to do come. Bro, I'm pulling up to your city. Pull up. I'm gonna let you get five minutes. Wow. That's good. That's dope. That's might, love. If he got some, I might sign. Wow. You know, I seen you at the Fast Bash, and I gave you hell, too. I said, nigga, you ain't need nothing. You down here ain't did nothing. He like, who this nigga is messing with me? <laughs> Facts. I, I knew Facts. that you didn't know he who like, he was at that time. messing with me, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, this nigga, Trill Talk, who this nigga you got with you? He ain't doing nothing. But I knew you was there, man, and I know you wanted to get your set off, man. Uh, yeah, yeah that, was a, that was a big letdown, but I, I, I helped with the... Uh, Production. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. I'm an engineer by trade, so I deal with. It. Shout out to Mama Sky, man. Man, she's been on ever here. made, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, she's so man. She a loving person. She hit me up yesterday, yeah, man. She's dope. I I, uh, I didn't even get to interview you on the couch. Yeah, yeah. I interviewed everybody from half pint on that couch. I was in the inside, you know, doing that VIP yeah. part, that VIP and I didn't get to interview you. And I look back at my video. The vi I got all that footage. And uh, I said, damn, I didn't get. To he was there. This nigga was there. I know I'm gonna do interviews though. Yeah, but still, we would have talked. It wasn't like no interview. We just like on the show, like the it was gonna be like a production where, you know how a TV show go off to the set to the side where you talking. That's what that was. Now, honestly, I, I, I don't really like doing interviews. Why? I just don't. Trill talk. It's like them are people. For real? No problem. So this is your first. That's my interview. boy. Wherever he tell me something, you you ride with I'm it. Ride with it. So this is I your first. That's guess, crazy. I don't second guess. It. This is your first interview. Not my first. I guess he did one with Trill talk. I just okay, don't normally right. do them like that. Really? Okay. When I found out you from East Texas, what? it's a no-brainer. Nigga, I've been pushing. <laughs> what I tell you today? No I told my son today, I said, man, ain't no nigga came and did what I'm doing right now. I'm, breaking, I'm changing everybody and making them except East Texas, Dallas, Houston. I done like, had he Joes on here. I done break everybody, nigga. I love it. You know what I'm saying? I like, love that shit. Like, we breaking these damn walls down. That's what, that's what Pimp C meant when he said knocking those down. He didn't just mean just with these relationship building, but Texas. See, UGK ripped the whole thing when Pimp was doing it and he repped the south so I look at things from that perspective so when we came into the door I was like first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna get I got smoothie on here I started getting DJ juice I said nigga we're at Trio Talk nigga hey nigga we finna go in East Texas is back for sure. <laughs> so I that's how we too. did it man, I love it, man. so I, I show mad love to East Texas and cause I'm from it's tatted on my chest right here ain't it baby Yes, you ain't is. seen it in years. I ain't got too fat. <laughs> it's terrible, right? Yeah, I see it all the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I'm an East Texas hardhead. But I love Dallas, too. Cause I've been over here over 30 years, too. Yeah. So I think I, that's what God put me here for, to make he sure. He rep Texas spirit. Period. That's the way it should be, though. I feel like Texas don't do that like Atlanta do it. That's right. Like that's I'm going I'm to put, put this on record. And this go for any rapper. I feel like all major rappers out there in Atlanta are going to be rocking with all the hottest comedians out there. Yeah, in Atlanta, mm -hmm. we don't have that here in Texas. Mm -mm. No, we They're don't. Too shy. No one don't, don't want to do this and that. They don't even call you for the videos and no, all that. But I don't be tripping though, cause I'm making my own way. No, no, no. You, a, they you see a beast. it. They see it. Yeah, but, but they come. I just feel like it should be. Texas should just be a whole, like Atlanta a whole. I agree. I got other states show me more love than. Than Texas. Well, I'm at. What about that's, that? We say that all the time with um, entertainment. Period. I ain't talking about cities though. I'm just talking about Texas. Ace Town and Dallas love me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Love okay, it. got it. But let me ask you this though: is is um when you think about back in the day when you first started off, Roy Lee was living. Did you ever tap in with Roy Lee? I never got to um, meet Roy Lee. Never did. I never got to. I wish I would. You seen him. some of his stuff oh, that he was doing? Most definitely. Most definitely. Most definitely. Yeah, Roy Lee was a beast, man. Most I I, I supposed to have the guy that's doing a movie uh, uh, mm -hmm. documentary on him coming on. He supposed to be here today with you, but he rescheduled to next yeah, Wednesday. Roy Peter Roy Lee. No, I never got to meet. Never him. got to meet him. No. Man, but, but I didn't either. Yeah. I just I used to watch him though, just like I'm watching you. I heard so you know, much stuff about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who? who nobody. It's just you, Bubba Doug. Oh. Who do people say your comedy remind them of? Oh, for his rawness, mm -mm. Roy Lee. Because we, were, they both, we say. were both off the dome, you know, mm -hmm. raw like that. But I always tell them, yeah. But he, my boy, was more flamboyant. He was. He was different, he was man. Flamboyant <laughs> with. I'm oh, not. Man. I'm just, you know, I am who I am. He was more flamboyant with. I'm just me. I'm yeah. just naturally. Yeah. Do you ever meet somebody and walk up to you and just say, hey, tell me a joke? Yeah, and I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> 
I can not imagine that. I don't mess with him. I didn't give a damn why he felt in the, at the thing. I'm just messing with you. I, I, don't, with, I, don't, I don't. I mess with everybody. Mean. If Trill talking tell you anybody, be like, he just gonna do that. That's how he is. That nigga mess with everybody. So I got my own comedy going, but yeah. it's it's. I know my lane. Yeah. It's right here. Yeah. You know, I ain't going to the show and do nothing with you. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you when for I sure. see you, sure. like for you my sure. like you my brother for or something. Sure. That's sure. how I get down. Likewise, you know? likewise. Yeah, I totally understand because just like when people hear that I'm Jamaican, they like, speak Jamaican to me here. <laughs> I'm like. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I, I, you never spoke Jamaican for nobody but I, me. I, I, I don't like when somebody just walk up and say speak. <laughs> yeah, say every, hey, tell me a joke. Buy a ticket, come to a show. <laughs> Have anybody got aggressive with you? And you're like, damn, yeah, female. Man. Want you to what, take a picture no, or something? No, tell a joke. Mm. And got upset. How do you handle I it? I hope she watching it. How do you handle like, it? How did she handle it? She was upset because I wouldn't tell her no joke. <laughs> I told her, buy a ticket. <laughs> she got mad at you. Yeah. Oh, you think you all that? No, I just know my worth. I just know when you do your next show, wherever it's at, I'm did coming in the stand up for us right here. Did she buy the ticket and come? I don't know. She did, but then all I know that show I had in Dallas was packed out at the uh, High English. Yeah. Mm. Well, do you do you like Eddie Griffith? That nigga there, love him. That nigga be. He's one of my child. favorites. Hey, he be staying himself too, like you. I love him. He's one of my favorites. I like him. I don't. I like to go to comedy shows, but I hate it because I'm scared that they're not going to be good. Because you know how I, I love the person as an actor, and then they go up there and I'm like, no, that's not funny. That's not funny. Eddie Griffin, I love. I love Eddie. I love Monique. She's dope. She was really good, too. She had I didn't expect much from her, and then she did. came with it. She, yeah. I didn't expect her to do I'm like, yeah, I ain't for the like I, this. I she made him, me go. I drug him there. Well, I'm not watching that was, damn woman. <laughs> she dope, man. She but she in. was really yeah. good. Yeah, she know what she doing, man. She so, a pet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you could tell once I met, I was like, oh, I, I messed up. I should have been the first one at the first row on this old. DL was not my cup of tea. Who? DL, DL Hughley. Hughley. That's my boy. I like him. He's he just political. My... I don't, he all right. He gets political, yeah. It's yeah. a different type of comedy. Different type of comedy. Uh, um, Eddie Griffin get political. Yeah. He is now. I like him. The older him is now. He, he man, he's something else. Man. But I like his political, his politic jokes. His I political like, views? Yes, his political views. Say I it, like girl. it. It's somebody y'all ain't even named yet. Who's that? Mom, earthquake. Yeah, he dope. I hadn't seen him. What about Corey Holcomb? Stop playing, I man. It's a bunch him. of them to go in. I don't nigga. go hard. It ain't nothing. You can't miss none Who, of these like If you were recommending me to, because they always come through Dallas. Because I always I'm watch them. You I already already know come what watch you going to say. I'm going to see you. Other than I knew you were going to say that. Other like, than you. Because we coming, I'm you see you. I'm going to have see them 30 years. <laughs> You don't see Come him. Come right with the new school, man. Already. You ain't got to say, you can say less. Because everybody he named, they flawless. Yeah, Corey yeah. Hulk, all them goats. Them yeah, yeah, I respect all those guys. Man. I can't wait to come see you. Yeah, I, and you ain't got to worry about that part. Me and my wife gonna be there. You ain't. Yeah, I I'm gonna come you. see. You. I'm gonna. Come. We, if we we driving all the way down there to see them this weekend because we made it. He called me. I, no, definitely. They canceled it. They canceled it. What? Ooh, he Jesse? ain't told me no, 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 They just posted like 20 minutes. I'm about to call that nigga as soon as I get off the <laughs> set. That nigga <laughs> supposed to call me. Gonna have me all in Arkansas. I done booked my room, nigga. Oh man. <laughs> He got to pay me back. No, I wouldn't do it. That's my boy, man. Like, he loved his show. Yeah. Oh, I told yeah. Je- I told Both of them guys, though. Yeah. Jesse and Cheat Mom, them boys, them guys, though. Man. I man, told Jesse the same thing. I told I told him, I was like, man, I'm not going to promise you I'm going to laugh, but we'll see. But he had me cracking. We up. went to his show in Atlanta. They got a, what's that play called? The Atlanta Comedy, Comedy Club? Comedy Club. Comedy yeah. Theater. Theater, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. You been there? I go grab September the 19th. You, this is your first time? Mm-hmm. Man, I, it's a nice environment. September the nineteenth. Me and Cleon I, the comedian. Nigga, I might come see you down there. Mm-hmm. See, that's how I do it. See, you don't even play with me. I'm not. Yeah, you gonna like, damn, that nigga in the crowd. Nigga, like, hey, I'm here. I'm gonna shot you. I'm gonna shot your company. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about one in the building, man. Texas in the building, man. You know what I'm talking about, man? Yeah, cut that light up and sit on y'all ladies' necks. You know what I'm saying? Might want to take some home tonight. You know? Hey, man, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming you know though. Yeah. Real talk, I gotta come. Like, like we already was scheduled to go down there mm-hmm. in uh, October, right? I be like, man, I be trying to, you know, I be may have to go twice. We can because that's on a Saturday, yeah, and a Sunday. Are you just doing one set? So, I just got. Matter of fact, I just got it today. I just found out about it today. How does that happen? Like, you got a manager, or yeah, somebody that's looking out for you, and being like, hey, man. Yeah, I got a manager. Yeah, that's dope, man. Do you have? Because I heard you said earlier that it's a you, Sunday. It's a okay. Sunday. Yeah. So I'd have to fly I, in yeah. and fly back. To do I heard that. you said that um, if you find somebody who is who is um, funny enough, you'll probably sign them. So, do you have anybody that you've already signed? No. 
are working with. I'm looking. I I I put people to the test. I want to be a comedian or a showman. <laughs> that's that's tough. I'm look I'm looking. But I ain't finna spend a bunch yet. of money on you, and I know I ain't gonna get it ain't back. They looking for a sugar dad yeah. out here. That's Does it take a lot Sean of money Cotton to said. be a comedian? Nope. It's gonna take a lot of money, but it take money that will get you where you need to be going, though. That's facts. Money can get you some places you need to be in, or, or at least around some people. That, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That can make that can make things happen. But now nah, you don't need a bunch of money. So if you if you're trying to advise a young person coming up wanting to be um, the next big thing in comedy, um, what would you tell them? Do they have to have a manager off the bat? Nope. What you what need a manager need? for? You ain't making no money. That's right. So what do they need to know? What they need to know is... I think is, he said it earlier a little bit. He just telling them how to get in there. And whatever they doing, be consistent. Be consistent. Be consistent. Believe Man. in you. You know, when I first doing, started doing my skits, I wasn't just doing snitching skits. Them just, just what hit and just what just made me spring out there like that. But I had a lot of people tell me, you need to quit doing snitching skits. Nigga, I'm on Pop Smoke album. <laughs> the hell is you talking about? <laughs> I better keep doing uh, shit. Really, that's you know what's what working, hell. Yeah. That's so oh, crazy. But you can't go by that, can you? Do you, you read them comments, saying, man? Yeah, sometimes. It used to bother me. It, it, yeah, but I now, thank you because I, I, I got to have one this week. Now, I'm like, no, nah, hell no. Nah. Nah, I, 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 I knew I'm starting to grow as a person, as a man, but I know I'm starting to grow bigger as an artist. Okay. I put a picture of my daughters up there and the guy said, they going to like, they going to be some hoes. The old me would have responded and said something. I guess I'm a professional blocker now. <laughs> anything, <laughs> nigga, I'm like, I'm like trap boyfriend, anything nigga, you getting blocked. Oh, mm-hmm. that's 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 real. You don't got time. So for you it. used to cuss them out. You used to always go back and forth. Yeah, I never say nothing back. I just tell somebody else to. I, I it's just, I won't say it. I be calling like I call my homeboy. Like man, say something that nigga go in on that nigga. Yeah, <laughs> my homeboy like, but, I, but I'm learning. I'm a, people just want a reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all. Yeah. Sometimes people say shit. Oh, whole ass pussy ass nigga. Then I go when they say that in my DM, I respond back. What's up, bro? Hey, what's up, guy? I just wanted to get a response. From you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm learning. I'm learning what people really doing. They yeah. just want to get a response out of me. So, oh, they, they just want to hear some jokes too. That's that's really what they're trying yeah. to see. If you're gonna really be yeah. funny with yeah. them. Yeah, I, I've been with people. You know, I got partners too. That's I I, I I got different people that that people respond to. We were just in Vegas with mm. with one of them, with Charleston, and and to be honest with you. We was in L.A., I mean, uh, uh, Las Vegas, people coming up, hugging. They talk all this stuff online, but soon they see and they love They love him in person. Love mm-hmm. him. Like we, I'm like, this nigga here, man, niggas nigga know this nigga like crazy. Yeah, I know him. Like, but you know the thing is, and he he like you too. He's like, man, I think I'm a little too raw for him, but I, I like that nigga, man. He, he messed with you at the show too. Yeah, I brought him yeah, down yeah, there yeah, with yeah, me. You yeah, seen yeah, him yeah. now? He, he talking about, I think he's scared of me. Nah. <laughs> people expect you to be nah. a comedian twenty four seven. It's the people, same thing they expect out of him yeah, too. They, same because thing because you seem like the type of person that you're quiet, really. Yeah. You don't really just go in unless you have to. Correct. Yeah, and ain't nothing right. wrong with and that. And you see, and people don't. They That's don't me. expect it. They expect comedians to be that way all, all the, the time. time. I went to the open mic last week. Second that quiet as a mouse and say one word. Some guy knows me say, hell no. <laughs> hell no. Why are you so fucking quiet? You should, you should be up for teaching us. I'm like, nah, I don't want to take away from nobody. That's I'll it. I'll do y'all thing, man. Wow, just humble. Yeah. And I think that's the best way to be. It is. Yeah, so and then he wanted a nigga to pay for that that comment. Then nigga, you ain't getting it for free, nigga. Y'all gonna have to pay that money. You can't get me to do nothing, nigga, until you start put that bread up. Most definitely. Because I, cause I, I honestly can say, I, I can drove from Alto all the way to Texas County for $100 on the show. Wow. Mm. Did it twice. Mm. Man, now you sound like Steve Harvey. You remember no, we talked that, that I did story? It twice. I had to borrow money just to go down there. That's Steve Harvey. That's what I want to hear about right there. That Who'd was, you borrow the money that was, from? That was two One years ago. Boys? On my own. That was two years ago. Mm. When you got there, and, and how did you feel when you after you did your set? I feel great. One but six people in the crowd. But if but you did your thing. Wow, I killed it. I be, I became me who I am now at that one of them shows. Though. Wow. What's the least Dope. you would um, go for now? Oh, he ain't like, trying to hear that. Uh, that nigga popular now. That nigga getting views and stuff. Hell, that nigga, I'm trying to, I'm going to talk to him after this. See what you I can have some people, Because you have some people like, if the show isn't sold out, like, to a certain amount of seats, I won't, but, they but, won't go. But that's on the promoter. Yeah. That ain't on me. That's right. Promoter okay. got to sell the show. But me being who I am, I done got smart. I can pull the Kevin Hart. I book my own show. I buy out the venue myself. Really? Yep. 
That's smart. I work my platform. Have everybody going there. You know. What yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I run it up. How did how did oh, okay. how did COVID affect you? Because that was that that was a part of your your time of you coming out. It helped me. It did. Everybody was at home on that phone. Made me even more popular. And you start working. That's true. Yep. Dang, that's it. What right happened? There. COVID really gets caught up with my work. That I was already working hard like that. It gets when people was at home on their phone. Twenty. They start seeing it. It gets. Man, man. So he gets tired of caught up. Wow, that's a blessing in disguise. How does your girl feel? Because I'm sure a lot of girls be in your DM. Oh, man. How does she handle that? It is what it is. As long as I don't file for the bait, I'll be good. It's Do hard. Be it's temptation her? becoming who I am. No, that ain't no business. <laughs> You're like her phone ain't my business. As long as I do the right thing. I think it's... Because it, it, y'all it, been together for a while. Most definitely. But she know, man. She knew you before the, the yeah, success. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I hear him keep talking about his girl. So I know that they're together. They've been together for a yeah, while. That's my boo. That's Already, good. man. That's good. That my nigga know how to life. That nigga okay. romance her too. Don't you know, play nigga. Love that nigga might get some roses one on the way home, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> my life right there. You know what I'm talking about? That's dope, one man. One thing people always ask me about him because he's about like... Me? A uh, comic, so you know, when he's around everybody else, he talking metal and like all now. of that. So people always ask me, "Oh, he probably have you laughing. He he that way all the time. Are you that way all the time when you at home with her and the kids? Mm-hmm. Only when we doing skits. That's but otherwise, from that, I, I'm you're quiet. Not. I'm I'm daddy. I'm just That's laying me. back, man. See, when we first got together, I wasn't Bubba Dub. You got to understand, it's like a whole change to her to mm-hmm. see this. But she's been with me the whole time that she gets transferred. I always been this way. So when people start seeing me doing skits, they was already telling me, you know you married a fool, right? Mm-hmm. Like, it's really him right here. Like, it's really him. <laughs> He's really actually being himself now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of the way so it is it's, with us. It's, it's, um, it's a blessing, man. See, I um, used to always tell him that. I was like, you know what? You fooled me. When yeah. we got together, you was quiet and ha- act like you couldn't talk and that everything else. Yeah. And yeah. then now, oof. Mm-mm. You know what talking about now. the way we act, you know, with people around. I've always been that guy. When I was little, like I tell you, for in in the car, and you know, back in the day, your mama leave you in the car. You didn't get to go in the store. You couldn't Facts. go in the Safeway, or you couldn't go in the Piggly Wiggly. You got to sit in the car till she get back out of there. Facts. And so I'm sitting in the car, and when she come back, I'm talking to people. <laughs> Everybody out there, we kicking it, and I'm five four. You know what I'm saying? And they listening to me too. And I'm like, damn, you know. But I didn't. I wasn't never. I knew I wasn't into no comedy. That wasn't my thing. Mm. I think I done hit my groove just talking. I like to talk to people, man. I love people, so got a good personality. Yeah, I love people, man. So that that's my thing. So you know, you gotta get used to that, dog. I mean, you I know, used we to have been eighteen years. I'm yeah, used we've been to married it. eighteen but I, years. But I know that that DM shit. That gonna mean shit because I look mm. at it like this. Uh, uh, I'm not feeling like a. a a, a nut run what I got going. No. You shouldn't. It ain't worth it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't worth it at all, brother. Because a lot of times they just want to get that up out of you and show the world and try mm-hmm. to, you know. Mm-hmm. Nah, you remember what happened nah. to Kevin Hart, yeah, nigga? Don't, yeah, don't, don't, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> no. Don't get and no matter how, who they are, because it could be somebody big. Famous. Famous, they come whatever. The more you go, the, the more you grow, the more coming. Oh, they trying to go to the extreme now. <laughs> I'm so ahead of the curve on that, man. man. But I hear so many things like, how okay a scenario tell me how you would handle this you go to a different town um you got a hotel room all of a sudden you open your door and you see a female in there what would you close do? it yeah <laughs> first thing popping my mind is kobe bryant rape no nope. it's a setup it's a setup yeah, nobody ain't for going there with nobody like that. Who does that? Because isn't that what they used to do back in the day? I don't know if that people are still doing that now. Or you know, it's that Me Too movement. I'm scared to have <laughs> you don't know who the hell they can't trust nobody, man. You don't know. You really don't. So, do you listen to music? Oh yeah. Oh, so who who is your favorite artist? Top three artists of all time, dead or alive? Pop. Come on now, man. Pop. No. no pop. Any yeah, genre. Right pop. Oh, you right. see him on the wall right there, nigga. I'm finna put Pimp C. Any genre. Oh wait a minute! Don't try it to make that to only be rap. Pop the opinion. goat. I'm just saying. Any genre. Pop any the genre. goat. Any genre. Not Michael Jackson. Nope. Pop. <laughs> pop. I love when pop. I was young, me and my mama had okay. beef, nigga. Okay, since you want to go that route with <laughs> not Michael Jackson, okay, um. I can't think his name off top, but he he really won. I feel like he was on, he was going to be on another level, but he got killed. He sang that song, I Was Born Down by the River. Sam Cooke. Mm-hmm. You think I Sam Cooke? Sam Cooke. You like I Sam Cooke? Love him. So that's number two? Number two. Number three. Uh, we'll go with Drake. Drake, okay. 
That's a nice top three, man. That boy Pac came off in the Don't lead. Females. Sam Cooke and Drake. Nigga, y'all got y'all kick people all the time. A lot of people gonna like that yellow boy Drake, but Drake or Trent. Man, it's hard to get around. It's hard to get around. They tried to Kendrick Lamar tried to try to dethrone him. Niggas don't want to tell the truth. Yeah, niggas tried to dethrone him. It didn't work. They, nah, he didn't try. Yeah, he did. The nigga tried to be slick on his talk and get on his. Yeah, but look, it don't. It didn't hurt him. Hurt. He a machine. He a machine. You can't. You you. Meek Mills tried to come at him sideways. Push a man. Push a T. He tried. He tried Still to get it. Stop they it. couldn't shake him. It's like a nigga running the football. You know what I'm saying? Earl Campbell all over again. This nigga a problem. You know? And he doing well in business as well yeah, yeah, with man. with Apple deals and all type you know of commercials what I just going realized? on. What's that? Nobody ever said Ti was their top. Tip is my I, guy. I, you I, see him a hundred times. I know. Wall. Clifford. Yeah, that's my guy. Wall. I know, but nobody's ever said put him in a top three. Clifford at all, since go hard, we've been here. T.I. go hard. Did we even do top three when we was in Atlanta the other week? But week? we ain't doing yeah, the we South, though. Three. We just saying all No, for all the time, right? No, nah, no, nah, Tip can't be number three all, all no, time. No, no. Uh, you know, I'm a PMC number one for me. You know, I I'm an old school People guy. have Boosie in their top three. Yeah. I like Boosie. My nigga, uh, my, my other co-host, the one with the Whitman, Money Moses, he he loved, he put, he said, uh, Boosie go hard. That nigga said, Boosie, Webby and Mo three. Mo three. <laughs> that nigga said that's his top three, and he yeah, ain't. But, but that's his top three. Though, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? He's a, he's I'm, about a big, it. I'm a big fan of. Pimp. I'm a PMC oh, fan, and we about to try to do something. He's a Leo, and I don't want to speak on it too much. But we trying to do a, a thing for just just something for mm -hmm. him to yeah, to represent yeah. him in the right way. Yeah, I miss Pimp. Man, but who don't, bro? Like like it was another level of of, of security when it came to the South. You know what I'm saying? I miss him because I know he be talking that, that shit that, right that now. Me and that nigga wear the same hat. Yeah. Nigga, you know what I'm talking that about? Stop brother playing. Doing, now that doing his thing, y'all boy, nigga get behind him. You know what I'm talking about, man? Y'all yeah, bullshit, yeah, man. Yeah, Put yeah, your yeah. money on your mind, yeah, man. Yeah, boy, now yeah, doing thing. Y'all nigga riding scared. He riding right here, no security, nothing of that, man. I got my diamonds. I'm on West Timer right now, man. Something foreign, man. Yeah, nigga with a with a, with, a, with a cell phone with a chip in it, Mo nigga. <laughs> Stop playing, nigga. Yo, <laughs> Love man. that boy, man. Sure. We miss him, man. We, yeah, we're gonna yeah. have that. So when I have his, when I have a get together for him, we'll hit you up. Yeah, I'm up. trying to bring people together I'll just to, to represent what he because nobody Texas ain't doing nothing. Hard. He did. Yeah, we well, need I that say though. everybody ain't doing that. Mm -hmm. I don't know what everybody doing. We I know what to. we about to do. We about to try to come up with it. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely, man. So, man, uh, how can people get a hold of you, man? Oh, man, you get a hold of me. You know, I'm on the uh, YouTube. Okay. You know, I got the uh, IG, Bubba Dub 94. Okay. I got the Facebook. Okay. Uh, anyway, I got my like page, Facebook like page, Bubba Dub Jr. Okay. You can go to my website, BubbaDubEntertainment.com. You know what I'm saying? You can just Google me. You can get in contact with me. Already, man. Shoot, man. I'll hit hey, my manager. Hit you your know. manager. Okay. And and, and I'm, I'm going to have to find out who that is, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to get with you on that. Say, man, Um, any, any other questions? Thank you for coming on the show, man. That's a blessing. Hey, man, we love you, brother. Yes, sir. And, and anytime, if you need us, if you need this platform, if you're trying to push something out there, we working. We are consistently dropping every damn day, except for Saturday and Sunday. But some Sundays we drop ministers. But at the end of the day, man, <laughs> you know, man, we dropping something every day and we being consistent, man. So thank you so I much. I do have a question. You got another question? Yes, sir. I was doing so, that breakout move then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go. But on, um, on your website, do you have a calendar where people can know where you are yes, performing? Yes, I got all that up there. Uh, is it on your Instagram and Facebook as well? On um, well, it only it. it's, on the, it's a little thing you can click on my Instagram on Bubble Dub ninety four. You can click it'll take you and show you my schedule. Okay, because you know everybody be like, okay, I want to go see, see him live him in live. person because some people be like, okay, he might be just funny on yeah, IG exactly. or whatever. I, what I want to see him person. That's what I want. Mm, that's mm. that big a biggest surprise from people. That I love when I did a show in um, Augusta, Georgia, and um, I went up there and did a show. I did 15 minutes at first because that's all they wanted me to do. Just do 15 minutes, I killed it. And, and they, they came requested back, you. Like, come back, come back, come back, come back up here and do some more. I did it, and I got outside, and the guy said, "I ain't gonna lie, my nigga, I thought you was all cap." <laughs> you really that nigga on stage, bro. You really that nigga <laughs> on stage. Man, it's a god given talent. From 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 what you've explained to me. Um, it's something that you're Especially doing. off of the dome. Yeah, like it's, it's a guy I just talk time. about my life. I talk about me. I talk about things nobody want to talk about. I just make it funny. It, it, I can't so explain So your life it. is just that funny? Yeah. I make fun out of anything. Wow. That's like dope. the other night. I'm going to go ahead and tell it. I don't, you know, you, people, the comedians can't deliver it like me. But anyway, I just come out and I be like, God is good, y'all. I'm finally a homeowner. Wow. Everybody go to clap. I'm like, yeah, my grandma finally died. <laughs> 
Left nigga high. It's up. <laughs> you see a bunch way. of calls over there. I'm breathing. <laughs> Family running around here talking about we going to bury her $15,000. Never. 350 cremation. <laughs> Now I'm gonna put it in my joint, smoking on that granny pack. <laughs> this nigga is gonna have a good time, man. Just say. Even though people like, you talking about your grandma, man. My grandma been dead 25 years, man. It's just <laughs> something I'm making. Man, up she'll just, be proud of you, you know no matter what, yeah. man. So it's not always just real, real that just happens. It just be real situation. What I mean by that, it's a lot of people that, sick minded people hoping somebody in their family die because they know they in the wheel. Man, if mm. they would just wow. die, why well, yeah, would be yeah, on it? Yeah. I hear conversations like this. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. It, I put it in my comedy. Like, it gets certain things you could talk about, man. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. I get it. Well, man, we love you, man. Thank you so much for coming on the show. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out.